win. Megan, in addition to that Maryland-Virginia game you just mentioned, lots did he win or did he place? Our sports guy did. Four years ago, did you ever imagine it would be four years? Usually they say five-year plan. <laughs> you know, you can never set a timetable. Oh, Nothing yeah. but net, huh? Oh my um, uh, net. we're just so happy we got that. Always take that off. Okay. But Oklahoma State and Miami now looks forward to the challenge of doing it on the pro level. Tuesday evening sports quiz. Which non-quarterback holds the record for most all-purpose yards in a college football season? All-purpose yards, oh boy. I think Detroit Lions. Barry. Sanders. Sanders, Barry Oklahoma Sanders. State. Barry Sanders. And now the CTV Sports page with Dave Goldman. All right, hi everybody, welcome to our sports page. This is Dave Goldman at Questfield in Seattle where the Redskins season ends with a loss to the Seahawks. Well, Chris, what about today? Tell me about it. I mean, the only thing that matters is to win. This is the 40 Watt Club. It gave rise to the careers of the B 52s and. You just finished the Ironman triathlon. How do you feel? Terrific. That that last uh, that last charge into the stadium, down that carpet, the other day when we got here, I said, "Boy, it would be pretty nice to to walk through here." This is uh, Lewis Howard, the head basketball coach at Largo High School. I uh, just want to give a shout out to my main man. Dave Goldman for the support that he's given Largo High School boys basketball team over the last 14 years that I've been here. My young man can always look around and look up at the least expected time and Dave shows up with the camera and he does something very special for Largo High School. And we're hey Dave, this is uh, Coach Terry Terrell from Riverdale Baptist. Uh, you've been out a number of times obviously and uh, here you are taking a a trip out west, uh, you know, hopefully not permanently, but it sounds like a great opportunity for you. I must say I'm a little surprised with uh, uh, that I have 16 games to go before uh, a milestone of win number 1,000, and I was really counting on you being there, and uh, I didn't think you would leave right now. <laughs> Just kidding, Dave. Um, but uh, out in Alaska, it's going to be pretty chilly, and I know you've uh, come out a number of times, um, you know, when we're practicing out here in uh, 30, 40 degree weather. So um, I do want you to uh, uh, scout ahead and uh, see if uh, any coaches out there would play. You know we'll come play in the cold weather. This is Coach Green from Eleanor Roosevelt High School, athletic director and football coach. Dave, I really want to wish you luck. Thanks a lot for all your coverage at Eleanor Roosevelt High School and all our sports. We're really going to miss you. Hopefully you can come back and visit, and we know you'll do big things. To the sports action, we turn to Dave Goldman at the sports desk. Uh, I've always enjoyed working with you, um, not only for your professionalism, your talent, but you're just a genuine, uh, genuine guy, a real guy, a nice guy. Um, oftentimes, when I've gone through some personal things, uh, some other staffers here at uh, CTV have gone through some personal things. I've seen your heart. David, good luck in Alaska to you and Jenny and the kids. Hope everything goes well for you. It's not often you find folks who are dedicated to anything for 20 years. And we'd just like to say thank you for your 20 years of service at CTV. Shalom, Dave Goldman. You're my favorite mountain idol. You're like the uh, Jeremiah Johnson and uh, Bob Barker of the sports world. You know, on a lighter note, you know, I want to wish you the best, you know, in your, your endeavors, you know, in, in Alaska. I really enjoyed working with you. You're such a professional. You know, and on a lighter note, you know, I, I remember uh, talking to you uh, and discussing, you know, uh, MacGyverism. You know, I just happened to uh, make something for you for your trip, something that you would, thank you, enjoy uh, while you're there. It's a shovel. And, of course, you know, a special attachment. Peanut butter. I forget going down to Paris Island with you to cover the Marine Corps boot camp. I don't know who was more demanding, you or the drill instructors, mm -hmm. but we put out a great series and it was all for you. You definitely taught me a lot. I'll miss you a lot and I wish you best of luck in Alaska. Good evening. My name is Diane Williams and I'm your new CTV sports anchor. Today in sports, we feature David Goldman, a 20 year sports icon and all around sports guru. David, I've been vying for your anchor chair for some time, 
and I finally got my opportunity. Hey Dave, it's been a pleasure working with you. Um, buy yourself some warm mucklucks and I guess uh, bagels and locks is going to be a staple in the Goldman house even more so now uh, that you're moving to Alaska. But be sure that uh, any of us who happen to have an urge to go to Alaska will be invading your household. We're going to miss you so much and definitely the kids, Sammy and Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I remember they were babies, though. It has been extremely funny working with you, loving working with you. You are just, you know, a very talented person. Dave, enjoy yourself in Alaska. OMG, I can't believe you're going all the way up there. <laughs> Have a good time. We're definitely going to miss you here. Definitely going to miss you sitting beside me, cracking all those crazy jokes and stuff. When I first came here, you were one of those people who were very nice to me, and uh, we slowly developed a friendship. And not many people know this, but you were actually the MC at my wedding. So you are in my wedding album. And so years from now, when I look at that album, you'll be in there. And uh, I'm just going to miss you a lot. I've learned so much from you uh, being here in the sports department, you know, learning how to talk to coaches and SID members and basically how to just to be a professional in locker rooms with the colleges, the pros, and the high schools. And really going to miss talking sports with you. We've had some memorable travels. Uh, we went to uh, a game in Florida State, stayed at uh, Florida State's finest. Uh, we drove down to North Carolina. And uh, we took the scenic route to that hotel. Best of luck there in Alaska. Learn a lot from you. Learn how to shoot. Dave, we're going to miss you. And you're going to some really pretty country and great place to raise kids, but we're still going to miss you. Best thing was, I guess about a year before he died, the Eagles played somebody in the Super Bowl. And we were in the office just talking to Sherry. We had come back from Johns Hopkins, and the news wasn't that great. And I said, oh, I said, I wish Dave could get us tickets and we could go to the Super Bowl. Sherry got a funny look on her face, got on the intercom, called Dave to the office, and said to Dave, where can you go? And he says, well, we could go to media day. Next thing you know, Brian, Chris's brother, Dave, and Chris all went to media day down in Florida. There's a lot of stuff at your desk. You found this from 1994. And this beta tape from 1999, and you just see all the beta tapes. We haven't used that equipment in so many years. Your desk yes. holds history. And Treasure trove. Not to mention, I'll be keeping this. No, 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 this is for me. Sorry, Danny, this uh, is Dave's selfie, hey, you know. Leave you that know. for me, <laughs> leave that for me. <laughs> Dave, we're really going to miss you. We wish you all the success in the world, and we know that you will do such a great job. And please keep that extra guest bedroom available for all of us from CTV. Bye, Dave. Lots of memories yes. there. <laughs> All the different well, hairstyles. Well, well. <laughs> we have a surprise, or two surprises. Uh, some uh, former anchors, reporters from CTV. <laughs> we have this Stacy Cohan oh. and Megan McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> former CTV <laughs> staffers. <laughs> And you, <laughs> you blow the secret there. Oh, they already sorry, know the secret. That's all right there. <laughs> the fact that Megan and Stacy are here uh, says it all about Dave. Uh, Dave, we love you. Uh, most of all, you're just a good guy, a great Thank guy. You. Thank you. Talent, talented guy. Uh, you're going to Alaska. You're going to be working at uh, uh, an affiliate station there. Yep. You're going to be the sports director there. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. We're going to go to CBS uh, KTVA. It's a complete rebuild. They said, come on up. Here's the keys to the snow plow <laughs> and they have cars but they got snow plows half the year and we're going to give it a go and see if we can uh, build something up there and megan and stacy obviously you always say something about this look guy right here you look exactly the same i know that i'm, I'm dying my hair yeah. are you it's a secret, <laughs> not a secret you look the same. i look at all those old 
tapes and I'm like, Dave, and look, he doesn't age. I know. I saw them that today. Secret? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 20 years. I saw them today? I know, 20. Yeah. And we'll, miss, going, we'll miss you. I'm still miss those big bags you. of cereal that Dave used to get and feed me, and he would keep it under his desk. And the peanut butter. Because Curtis worked us so yes, hard. Yes, yes. Well, and I'm mean, getting a giant economy you, size of cereal. You were, don't you weren't the eating. Butter. Exactly, peanut, peanut butter. butter. That's right. You weren't eating. Thank you for feeding me, Dave. Well, you weren't eating, and I said to her dad, he said, she says, you got to make her eat. I said, okay. So I bought the cereal, and I said, okay. And she says, excuse me, pardon me, thank you. And she Sports guy slash nutritionist. It's it. Well, you know, it's healthy oh. stuff, you know. And the sense of humor. I know. I mean, we will no, one is, no one is like you for, <laughs> you. for cracking a joke and thank making you. everybody smile and thank you. we'll try. brightening up every room you walk into. Thank so you. a huge, well, a huge best of luck. This and is just great. And can I, Alaska, Aura gave you a snow shovel. I thought you might, <laughs> new environment, you might need some new, some new, um, moose safety. Moose, this is moose safety. Moose safety. I believe okay, that was put out you. by the thank Park you. Service okay. Alaska. Yeah. 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 How to escape right. from a bear. Thank you. Just in case, you never know. And wolves, this is important information yeah. about yeah. wolves. Yeah. You know, yes. Yes. Are you expecting to see something on YouTube from me? That's right. The northern exposure guy going like that. That's right. Stacey, any favorite stories about this guy? Oh my gosh, any that I can share on television. I don't know. I mean, my favorite stories about Dave were just he always kept it light. He was always funny. I've been to innumerable television stations since I've left CTV, and I've told many people, and Megan and I have talked about this. I, I don't know anybody that does sports as well as Dave Goldman. Thank you. I really don't. And, and to me, that, that's my Dave. You know, he just he knows his stuff, and he's fun to work with. And, and yeah. we'll miss them. And you're committed to to the to the teams and to the I mean all the people that yeah. that spoke. I mean that says Thank volumes you. of how people feel about you and the way in which you covered sports Thank in this you. town. Thank you. And how yeah. how you're gonna be missed. Yes. Thank you. And what I remember is the shorts. Okay. Yes. So yes. God, he's wearing shorts we under. Actually <laughs> show that hey, when you got legs like this, you gotta wear shorts. This I mean, is you know? pants. They're khakis. Yeah. That's all they are. Dave, Dave, if I may, ladies, if I may interject, uh, Galen wants to say something special about this guy. Galen has had a long relationship with Dave Goldman as well, and Patty has something to share as well. Well, I want to say that I've never met a sports guy, or uh, mostly anybody who knows as much about the arts as you do. He's, he's been the most creative, helpful